Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Different Opinion. Today, we're going to be looking at this video here. And I think this just epitomizes what the younger generation is like these days. They don't care about hurting people. They don't care about crime. They don't care about anything apart from their own ambitions. So this woman here, she killed two people in a DUI car accident where she was drunk. So this guy says here, so notice how she doesn't care because she doesn't realize she's being filmed, right? There are more people like this in society than you'd want to admit. They'll destroy lives, would even kill people with no remorse. Now have a listen for yourself and we'll run over this afterwards. You never answered me about my car. I'm like, I have school tomorrow, so how do I get my car? Well, your car is total. That's what? Your car is total. Total, total? Total, wrecked. Right. Okay, so how do I get it here? You don't. So, what do you mean? I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond, you are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay, we're done. So she got a 14-year prison sentence. All right. So maybe that will kind of wake her up a little bit and also young people to realize you know what you're doing before you do something stupid right and i think she's going to react a little bit differently after realizing she's going to be in jail for 14 years i think she'll maybe have a little rem little bit of remorse but maybe that's even hoping for a little bit too much now i just wanted to show you that just to show how horrible it's going these days i mean you keep seeing more and more attacks in you know the biggest cities where it's young people attacking old people or where they have no respect for people's properties just the other day i watched a video i can't even show it to you guys because it's too violent it's a video where these big groups get together in the big cities so you know i mean hundreds of people so 200 youth or you know people under the age of 21 would turn up and they'll just rob places they'll beat people up and anyone who kind of stands up against them gets nearly killed like this guy was sitting in his car, minding his own business. So this big group came through. They were like hitting his car and everything like that to try and antagonize him. So once they kind of passed a little bit, he got out the car and said, you know, can you guys leave me alone? Don't touch my car. Obviously a little bit of profanity because he's angry. They all turned around and there was about 20 people kicking him, punching him. He's fully knocked out on the ground at this point. And they just keep punching him, keep kicking him. And it's just disgusting that these things happen. I mean, it happened in Chicago as well, just to point it out. And the, the actual mayor of Chicago came out in defense and said, we need more things to do for the kids. No offense to you, but do you see country kids or do you see kids in smaller cities where there's really nothing to do? Do you see them going out and, you know, going around in big groups and beating up old people and beating, beating up innocent people for no reason? I, I don't think so. So he doesn't really have a leg to stand on. Maybe make your city better, safer, and people will probably want to keep living in these cities. But anyway, I'll end it on that one. Let me know what you think about her reaction. Just no emotion at all to killing two people. After being told about three or four times, there was no reaction. And I'm glad she got the 14-year prison sentence because there was no remorse in that video. There was no remorse. So imagine being the family of those two people. You'd be, you'd be so distraught at just the attitude of this person. But I wouldn't say it's justice because no one should be hit by a drunk driver and die, in my opinion. Look, if it was a sober driver or something like that and it was just a total accident, I understand that that would even be hard by itself. But for someone to be drunk and show no remorse is just disgusting behavior. But I'll end it on that. Like the video if you liked it. 
Subscribe if you do want to help support the channel, see it grow as well. You'll see my future videos and comment, like I said. Thank you for watching.